All right, episode 47 of the Mark Pryor Road to the show. We have our last start in June, closing it on the All-Star break. Red Sox lineup, oh, not what I like to see. The top three hitters are all hot, and then they have Rafael Devers. They have Tyler O'Neill. They have Tristan Casas. Bottom of the lineup, I'm not too worried about, but, um, yeah, the first six in the lineup, even with Tyler O'Neill being cold, kind of scary. We're facing off against Cutter Crawford in the pitching matchup. Cutter Crawford on paper is definitely the better pitcher. But we've been on a pretty good streak lately. So just about set now. And on the hill, Mark Pryor. 104 strikeouts on the season before the All-Star break. We're on pace to probably easily hit 200 strikeouts, which is good. Jaron Duran up. We're 42 and 40 on the season. We hold the second wild card spot as of now, which is surprising. Is that one is high and deep to right? Thank you. It is still an out. Vaughn Grissom up now. Gave up a lot of solid contact in our last start versus the White Sox. If you missed that episode, Andrew Vaughn and Luis Robert killed us. And somehow that's good. Oh my god, center fielder, why would you dive for that? Oh my god. That was, an, that was a bloop hit, 100%, but the center fielder dives for it and turns a single into a triple. Man. Um, who is our center fielder? That one splits the gap. That's going to be a nice diving catch by the left fielder. If the center fielder didn't try to fucking die for the last one, that way would be in really good shape. But that single turned into a triple because of a dumb play by the center fielder means they're up one nothing early. Rafael Devers up. Gonna try a slider in on the hands here. He lays off that one. That was a really good slider. That was pretty much the exact pitch that I wanted to throw there. Two two count here to Raphael Devers. Strike three. He swings at that one, even though it hits him. Come on, Tampa. Tristan Casas up now. Tampa's been honestly giving us really, really good run support this season. I'm hoping that that continues this start. Check swing strike there. The fastball in on the hands is looking real good this start to start off with. Not getting people chasing the circle change though. Check swing, call it. Well, that should have been a called strike three anyway. It was in the zone. Oh man, Tristan Casas is just battling now. Battles and a, we allow a single after a very, very long at bat. He ends up singling. And that one gets lined into right field very first pitch. Tyler O'Neill singles. This is looking like it's going to be a really bad start. Called strike one. A call goes in our favor after the last call didn't. Strike three on the low changeup. Out number one. Spencer Horowitz up now. Oh no, that was Spencer Horowitz. Leo Jimenez up now. He's batting 367 on the season. Oh, I was hoping to get him chasing the curve there. 
Got him. Strike three on the four-seamer. Connor Wong up now. Oh, please get there, center fielder. There we go. We get out of the inning without allowing a run. The bottom of the lineup coming through clutch for us. As they give out one, two, three once the seven, eight, nine hitters came up. Ooh. Where did that one miss? He has been calling low strikes though, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised he's not calling the pitches high. Jaron Duran. Yeah, that's a little high. Mm. Goes for a drag bunt on that one. Gonna try a slider here. Got him to ground it right to the second baseman. Easy out number one. He almost legged it out. Vaughn Grissom hit a little bloop triple in his first at bat thanks to the center fielder diving for it. Right to the right fielder there. We are allowing a lot of solid contact though. Masataka Yoshida up here. And that pitch was low and away, but he managed to pull it for one and pull it hard foul. Blow that fastball about right by him there. Gonna try to do the same thing here on 0-2. He takes that one ball one. That curveball ended up not close to where I wanted it. Four seamer, no. Uh, the Red Sox have really been raising our pitch count. Get there, shortstop, make the play. No, he's safe. Just a little ground ball, infield single there for Yoshida to bring up Raphael Devers. There we go. We get a called strike on a very favorable call. I don't know how in the world he made contact with that one. That one was so far in on the hand, but we get him to fly out. Come on, Tampa. Tampa only has one hit on the game. There we go. They score two runs. We take the lead. Pitch count is getting very high. Hops it up. Third baseman will get there easily. Camped underneath it. Thank you, Tyler O'Neill, taking that one from strike one. I need to get Tyler O'Neill out here. Nice. Got him swinging on that slider. One and two. Curve. Called out a swing up. Yes. Strike three. Strike out number four on the game. Now comes Spencer Horowitz, who's batting under 100, if I remember right. First pitch. Flies it to center. Out number three. Shut down one, two, three inning after the offense scored us two. Leo Jimenez. Right down Broadway. O2 count here. Gonna go with the slider. Oh, he fouls that one off. I'm going to try a two-seamer on the fists here. Got him swinging. Strike three. Honor Wong up now. 
He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Strike. Let's throw the low circle change here. Haven't had much luck with the circle change being a strikeout pitch. That was definitely not a swing. Curveball. That one was in the zone. I wasn't expecting to get the release point perfect, if I'm going to be honest. That's why I aimed it where I did. There we go. Get Connor Wong to bounce it to short. Out number two. In comes Jaron Duran. Umpire is being very, very liberal with his strike zone, and I appreciate it. Left field. Out number three. Five innings in the books. Tampa pads the lead. Four to one lead now. Vaughn Grissom up. All right, going to go with the slider here on 0-2. That's been my most reliable strikeout pitch. Get out, I'm swinging. Strikeout number six on the game. Yoshida only batting 200 versus the, the Rays this season. Ooh, barely missing there. That pitch was right down Broadway. Luckily, didn't put a very good swing on it. Fly out the left. Boss challenge here versus Raphael Devers. The baby-faced assassin, Raphael Devers. Oh my god, that pitch was way far away from where I wanted it. Come on, Mark. Get through this inning, and hopefully they hand us the bullpen after this inning. Just need to make it through Devers here. Three and one count is not the way to do it. Right to the first baseman, out number three. Six innings, one run, hand it over to the bullpen to shut this down. They don't hand it to the bullpen here. They trust us to go out there for the seventh. I think that is a massive mistake, personally. My energy is very low. Our control was awful last inning. It was a 1-2-3 inning, but we had a very, very clear lack of control of our pitches. Strike three on the circle change. Is that strikeout number six? No, strikeout number seven. Nice. Tyler O'Neill. Strike one. Get ahead of Tyler O'Neill. That's what I want. I want to get ahead in the count. Swung and missed there on the four seamer and on the hands. Looked like he actually swung early on that one. So I'm going to go off speed. Slider, he takes it. Go with the curve here. Takes the good curveball there. Just throw him another fastball up and in. Flies that one to center. Center fielder does not have to move much. I'm pretty sure that's Joe Siri in center. Yeah, it is Joe Siri in center. So he made that boneheaded dive earlier, but luckily that dive... Did end up causing a run. That triple scored on a sacrifice fly, and that's been the only run of the game. Pitch number 89 here. Spencer Horowitz. Oh, he barely fouls off that circle change. Fastball up and in. Pops it up right behind home plate. 
that should do it for our start. I highly, highly doubt they're going to put us out there for the eighth. Seven innings, one run, four hits, seven strikeouts, no walks. And the bullpen blows it. The bullpen blows the lead. Oh man, we put together a really good start. Seven innings, one run for the bullpen to blow a three-run lead in two innings. Your seam velocity increases. Go ahead, open up the packs, skill set. A lot of movement on painted corners, heavily focused on break control. Grow with movement and heat, heavily focused on break control. Those both sound like really good skill sets, they sound virtually identical. We get a really good bat. Not that it matters to us. We're a pitcher. We're going to go with Pedro. We, get un we unlock another perk spot by equipping Pedro as the skill set. We already have break four, velocity four, control four. We'd go ahead and have break four again. And adding the Pedro moves us up to an 84 overall with the Pedro skill set. Massive, massive increase in overall there. We are now the third best starting pitcher on the team behind McClanahan and Rasmussen. McClanahan having a phenomenal season. Wow, 254 ERA. Our ERA goes down to 391. Does that crack us into the top 50 in ERA now? League leaders. We've allowed the least walks, which is cool. McClanahan is leading in strikeouts, and we're third. So we're getting a lot of strikeouts as a team. ERA, yes, 391 ERA puts us in 37th. Still not like phenomenal. Third best on the team, I think, behind Rasmussen right there. And then, oh, Savale. I didn't realize he was doing that well. And then, of course, McClanahan, third, having a phenomenal, phenomenal season. We have four starting pitchers in the top 50 in ERA. Four in the top 37, which is nice to have. Let's go ahead and simulate to our next start. I wonder if they're going to move us. Really? They're having us start back-to-back -back days. They're having us start back-to-back -back days. Um... All right, I guess in the next episode we will pitch again versus the Red Sox and probably have a very, very short start.